Hello, welcome to my first video on the Little Man computer. So, what is the Little Man computer? Well, it's a simulation of the inner workings of the CPU. It's based on the von Neumann architecture, um, and this is a simplified version of this. So, what does that mean? Well, that means we have a CPU um, with various registers. We've got an arithmetic unit, which will be used for uh, calculation, so addition, subtraction. Uh, we have some controllers for input and output. And we have a memory store here, yeah, RAM, where our instructions will be installed for our programs. So, first of all, I've loaded an example program in here. So what this is very basically going to do is it's going to ask for an input from the user. It's going to store that input in the variable first, which we've declared down here with the dat mnemonic. And then we're going to ask for another input. And we're going to store that as second, which as you can see down here, we're going to then load the first input again. We're going to output that here, yeah, and then the program will halt. So, in a bit more detail, these this is our code written in mnemonics, and this is our code as the CPU will read it. So, we have line 00, zero that's where we're going to ask for our input, then line zero 01 is then going to store this input and it's going to store it at register 7 sorry memory address 7 here and then we're going to on line 02 ask for another input and then we're going to store that at address 08 which will be here now the reason this is 7 and 8 is because in our code our actual code ends at line 06, so we then declare our variables at the end. So first is on line 07 and second is on line 08. So that's why our numbers are going to be, our values are going to be stored there. Line 05 is then an output and line 06 is halt. So if we go down here to run, and we'll start the simulator running. Before we start, you'll notice the program counter starts at 00. zero. So it's going to accept the first instruction from here. So as you can see, program counter, it's moved down. Now we have two things happening here. First of all, the zero is moving off to RAM to go and fetch instruction at zero. The program counter as you may have just noticed, went through the arithmetic logic unit, added 1, so incremented by 1, so that the next instruction will be 0, 1. As you can see here, we have just fetched the first instruction, so the first instruction was 9, 0, 1. Now, 9, 0, 1, as we already know, means input. So, it's travelled along the bus, we're going to drop 0, 1 in the address register and 9 in the instruction register. Now, this is the CPU recognizes this code straight away as asking for an input. So, in the input, we are going to enter 5. Enter 5. The input is then going to travel back through along a bus and it's going to add into the accumulator. So the accumulator is now 5. Now that instruction is completed, so the arithmetic logic unit has incremented the program counter by another one, so we're on to 2. And this instruction 0, 1, store, is going to move along. So, fetched that instruction from location 1. And in this case, it's 307. Now, if we were to quickly break this down, 07 
is the location of first in memory and the three tells the um, tells the CPU <clears throat> that we're going to store a value. So as you can see now, address register seven and five has just left the accumulator. So the five is travelling along the bus and it's going to travel along to register seven where it's going to be stored. So that's that instruction finished. So now we're going to again move along. Program count is going to increment by one. And we're now going to fetch instruction 02. So instruction 02, as we recall from our first impulse, is another impulse. So code 901, 901. So in case you're wondering, the 01 is here. So the 9 tells the CPU that we're going to have an input or an output, and the 0, 01 tells us that it's going to be an input. If it was an output, it would be a 0, 02. So that 901 has now been fetched. We're going to decode that here. So address register 0, 01, instruction register 9. So now we are going to input. So for this one, we will input. Eight. So the 8 will now be loaded into the accumulator. It will replace the 5, so the 5 has completely disappeared from the accumulator now. And that is the end of that instruction, so that instruction has now been executed. As you can now see, we've moved on to the next, the next instruction. So the program count is incremented by 1 ready for the next instruction at 4, but we're on instruction 3, which is going to store, as you can see here, at location 08, our value in the accumulator. So here they are, so 08 is for our location, and 3 is going to tell the CPU that we're going to store some information. That's the fetch portion of the cycle complete. Now we're in the decoding stage, 0, 8 is there, 3 there. Now the, the 8 has left the accumulator, and also, by coincidence, uh, 0, 8 is going to be the register, the memory location that it's going to be held in. Okay, so 8 is now held there. Our program counter is going to increment again, and we're going to send along instruction number 4. So 04 is going to load our first variable back into the accumulator. So 4 is first of all going to fetch that instruction. So now it's been fetched, the 5 is going to tell the CPU that we're going to load something, and the 0, 07 is going to tell the CPU where it's going to be loaded from. So we will see the 07 decoded into the address register, and we'll see the 5 into the instruction register. So now, the CPU has decoded that and it's now executing the instruction. So the execution of this one will involve travelling along to register 7, as we've just decoded into the CPU. It's going to fetch the value held in 7. So in this case it's 5. As you remember, we input 5 for our first number 
value 5 will travel along the bus. And it will be loaded. Here into the accumulator. The program counter will now take along increment by one. We're looking at instruction five. So as you know, instruction five is concerned with the output. So what we're going to expect to see happen here is this value five, we're going to expect to see output up here. So five. This is our code for output, 902, as we spoke about before. The 9 is concerned with the inputs and outputs, and the 02 is concerned with the actual output. So, the 902 is now being fetched. It's going to be decoded in the CPU. Again, the 02 in the address register, and the 9 in the instruction register. And you're going to see the 5 leave the accumulator. It's going to travel along through, through to our output. And there's our output. So that could be a visual display unit. So now our last instruction is instruction 06. This is now travelling along the bus. As you can see, the CPU was incremented to the next instruction, what I would consider to be the next instruction, but obviously that's not going to happen because 06, as we know, is our final instruction. The code for that being zeros. So the zeros now being fetched. Going to travel along the bus. Into the CPU. It will be decoded and executed. And as you can see, the program has halted. So that was our first example of seeing a program running in Little Man Computer. So that was accepting two different inputs, storing them in locations in memory, and then recalling our first input and displaying it as an output.